Okay, so let, let me just spray one of these plants and uh, I've already got blue dye on me. I had, I had my straw hat on and, and I o opened, uh, went into one of these uh, sprayers and I got squirted in the face and it got on my hat and uh, so I took it off. So I must assume I'm gonna get dye on me somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna, what we wanna do is we wanna spray this whole plant. Like Alan said, you don't wanna just spray one side of it. We wanna get every leaf with something on it and we want it to be almost to the point of runoff. Okay, so I'm gonna be pretty generous here. This is an X8 nozzle. Question was what size nozzle are we using here? This is an X8. Yes. Okay. So I think I got that pretty well. One of the things I've seen printed sometimes, you want to spray to glisten. Sometimes I see that. Sometimes I don't depend on the light. I can see it in this light right here. But I think I've got, you know, what, what, what I can see with this spray with the, uh, with the dye is I've got something on every leaf and I see that it's just starting to drip, almost dripping off on these leaves over here. Okay, so I think I've got a pretty good coverage on this. The other thing I notice is that one, you know, after we've you know gone down a, uh, a ways and we sprayed and we come back and this is starting to dry, sometimes a little hard to see, but you'll always see some blue on something, like on the thorns, on the grass, on the ground, somewhere. So you know you sprayed that plant. That's to me, that's pretty important. So. Being able to see that spray coverage is, is one thing, uh, but the not retreating is the other. Okay, I'll go ahead and spray this one since we got it here. And when we're doing with this rig right here, uh, you know, if we've got a bigger plant, somebody may be over there and they'll get the other side of the plant. Uh, the driver, you know, just sprays what the driver can reach. If the driver gets off, fire him. Because if you're walking, you got to wait for him to get back on. And I've had this happen. Uh, so I usually drive. <laughs> okay. So I think you can, I think, hope you can see maybe that we got pretty good coverage on that. Uh, and uh, with this method, we should get 76% or better kill if it's done right. Uh, if the plant's in, in the right condition, okay? It's in good condition. Okay, we got a, a single stem plant here which is ideal for the stem spray. And so that's where the backpack comes in. And typically we'll put an X1 nozzle on here. I'm gonna tell you the truth, Alan's gonna probably shoot me, but I got an X2 on here. I have real trouble with the X1 getting it to you know function right so I'm, I'm i'm cheating a little bit for this demonstration today but what we're going to do is we want to spray all the way from the ground line up to about 12 inches on the stem if we've got 12 inches of stem if we don't have 12 inches and whatever we've got we want to make sure that we go all the way around the stem now we've got water and dye in this but with the diesel that diesel typically wraps around those stems this size stem right here, we could cut back to 15% remedy in diesel instead of the 25%. Once we get above an inch and a half in diameter, then we need to go to the uh, 25%. If you've got a mixture of, of the small stuff and the big stuff, you're gonna have to make that call for yourself. Uh, it may not be worth it to mix the 15. So you gotta make that call you know, on your own. So, you want to hold it real close to the stem and you want to make sure that you get coverage all, all on both sides or all the way around. Now I sprayed one side and it didn't wrap with this water. With diesel it typically might, might wrap. So uh, you want to go all the way to the ground line. If you've got grass, you need to stomp that grass down so you can get to the ground line. Okay. And so in terms of, like Alan said, in, in terms of cost per plant 
because of the multi-stem nature and also your cost in terms of, of making the application on each of those stems, that's what, you know, you have to kind of weigh that against the cost of the herbicide. So that, that'd be my only comment that way. Yes, sir. Will the dye work in this mixture? Yeah, we, actually, when we, do, when we do the cut stump, and Will's gonna talk about that, uh, we'll put the dye in there. In the diesel? Yeah, in the diesel. And even though it's a water-based dye, it colors it enough that you can see it. Now, usually with the diesel, you can see the diesel itself. So it's, it's at your, you know, whether you wanna put it in there or not, that's your, your call. But we do recommend it on, on the cut stump. It helps, we'll, we'll talk about that. I won't talk about that. Okay. okay, I'm going to do a little spraying here. To... And the, the reason you want to use that small orifice nozzle is, if you use a nozzle, that, the fan type nozzle that comes with these sprayers, you're going to overspray. You're going to have spray going way out there. And so you can save about 80% of the spray volume by using the smaller orifice nozzle. And you adjust it to a cone. And uh, if you can get the X1 to work for you, you do use the X1. I've just had a little trouble doing it. And maybe because I don't do it, I don't do the, the stem spray that much. I could say I like the leaf spray a lot better. Yeah. I got a choice. It's a lot easier. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, let me just move this over here a second, and we'll we'll spray this one too. It doesn't take long to spray it, and that one's not too bad. But I need a little bit more on this side here. Like I say, get real close. And because we've got wrapped all the way around that, that stem, it'll move down in that bud zone uniformly, kill buds all the way around. 